Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing another mascara battle today. So I did my first mascara battle like a week or two ago and we did high-end versus drugstore. We used a NYX mascara with a Chanel mascara. I will link that down below if you wanna watch it so you can see which one won the battle. So today I'm doing two more mascara, but they are actually both high-end. We have Stila and we have MAC, two very popular brands, and I'm very curious to see which one's gonna do better. So as per usual, I just did really, really soft eye makeup so we can see really well. So the Stila one I got is actually new. It's the Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. I have never tried this mascara before. Looks like this. And honestly, the brush reminds me a lot of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And then the other one we have is from MAC, and it's their very popular Zoom Lash Mascara, which looks like this. And I'm very, very curious to see which one is going to work better. I have used the MAC one before, but not too much. It's still pretty new to my collection. So as usual, we will do one on one eye and one on the other and kind of see how they go. Another thing is, I like to say this in the beginning, um, I think that mascara really only looks good when you actually put effort into it like you can't just do a couple sweeps and expect it to look perfect so we'll kind of build it as we would and see which one can kind of build more and look the best so let's go ahead and start with the mac zoom lash i'm going to be doing it on my right eye So first impression wise, it actually did pretty well. The first few sweeps, sometimes they do like nothing to your lashes and other times they do a good job. This looks good to me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and layer a little bit more on there. Oh wow. This mascara is really good, oh my goodness. Oh God, I think the fan just came on. Oh, please don't mind it. Yeah, this is pulling the lashes really long. It's not making them clumpy at all. Yeah, this is looking amazing so far. I'm just going to see if I can keep building it a little bit. So that is after building it up a little bit, but I think that looks so good. I'm going to go ahead and move over to the Stila Mascara. So first impression wise, it also did a pretty good job on the first couple swipes, but we'll kind of build that up a little bit. So I have been building it just about the same as the MAC one, and I honestly think the Zoom Lash just looks a little bit better, a little bit longer. Um, I do think that this huge lashes though pulls them really nicely and like separates them, like they are not clumpy or spidery looking. Um, but as I did in the last battle as well, I'm going to go ahead and now that they're a little bit like tacky and dry, I'm going to go ahead and apply a second coat because, you know, we, we, we do do that sometimes. Wow, I think that looks really, really, really good. Um, I'm impressed with how much you can kind of pull on that and that was only a little bit more mascara I don't think I would even add more just to avoid it looking kind of spidery So I would say both eyes are just about done looking at it from both of my perspective and your perspective I almost think the Mac looks slightly slightly longer but honestly, I think they're pretty darn close. I think this gave us results a little bit more quickly, and you kind of had to build the Stila one a little bit more and put a little bit more time and effort in. Personally, I really liked the brush on the MAC one just because it is so much smaller on the end. I feel like you can get a little bit more precision, especially on like the bottom lashes. Any like big brushes, I always get nervous because I always just get it everywhere when I'm trying to put mascara on the bottom or if I'm like kind of messy because I'm a little bit messy. Overall, I really like the 
both. I think they both gave very similar results in the last test we did. I felt like one was a lot more dramatic than the other one, but I think these are both kind of on the same level. And I want to say they're both in about the same price range, like in the low $20 range. So honestly, I think you could try either one and be pretty happy with your results. After we built with that second coat, I feel like it looked really, really good. But yeah, have you guys tried either of these mascaras? Please comment down below your thoughts and which ones you want me to try next. Maybe next time we will do two drugstore mascaras. Comment down below on the one with the most likes or the most comments. I will go and buy those and we will try them out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.